What's going on, nerds? I am the Jaeger Bomb, and welcome to Would You Rather. Uh, neat little game where we get to choose from two options, uh, both very shitty, which uh, option we would rather do. Uh, I'm joined today by Skylar Ernest. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, Just kidding. Hello. <laughs> use your manliest voice. You're live. Um, Hello. <laughs> Use your Batman voice. Um, Where is she? Where's the drugs? Um, <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna be talking about the uh, answers that we'd rather pick, and um, at the end of it, we're gonna tally everything up and find out who won, and uh, you're gonna decide what happens. So just leave your punishments down in the comment section below, and uh, yeah. So let's uh, strap in your seats and let's go, Skylar. Mm -hmm. Would you rather play Goldeneye on Nintendo 64, classic, or play Halo on Xbox, also classic? I'm going to catch a lot of shit for this. Oh, here we go. But I absolutely hate Xbox. I I always have. I don't know why. I've always hated Xbox. I've, I've always been a PlayStation person. Uh, but... I also hated Goldeneye on the N64. Holy <laughs> that, shit! That, that, that game, I did not like playing it. But out of the two, I would rather play Goldeneye on the Nintendo 64. I just, I can't bring myself to do the Xbox thing. I'm gonna tell you that I, I, I did not spend a lot of time on these games. Um... I'm more of a, uh, you know, platformer or, you know, uh, like the, uh, a lot of, well, check out the channel and you'll be able to see what kind of games I play. But um, in a drunken stupor, if I had to choose, I think I would go with Halo every time. So you're going to go with Goldeneye, I'm going to go with Halo, and let's see what everybody else says. Let's see what everybody else. Okay. <laughs> well, since the uh, percentages aren't going there, <laughs> eight hundred and seventy thousand people agree with that, with the Xbox. Of course. Damn, I already don't have a point. <laughs> All right. So back on track. Uh, why don't you go ahead and read this one? All right. If you parents, if you parents had to give you one punishment, would you rather live without your phone or live without your computer, iPod, and clean clothes? Wow, what kind of freaking parents are do you, do you have? <laughs> um, so I'm gonna tell you that, um, you know, just 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 going with the scenario here. Um, if I were to have to live without clean clothes, I'm pretty sure that a quick call to, uh, the child endangerment for child protective services or whatever would, uh, fix all that. Probably. So I'm going to go with that one. That's, that's going to be me. And then we'll make a quick call and we'll, uh, have everything back. <laughs> okay. What are you going with? I uh, live without my phone because I don't really use it that much anyway. So you know. Wow. Okay. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what they say. Holy dog shit. <laughs> wow. So apparently, not everybody had the same logic as as I did. <laughs> The zombie horde has just broken into the farmhouse where you six. <laughs> a zombie horde has just broken into the farmhouse where you six other survivors were hiding. <laughs> Would you rather run upstairs and barricade the second floor or sequester yourself in the cellar? Well, all right. Classic so let's scary movie. Classic scary movie conundrum here. 
Yeah. Well, let's let's think logically about this. This is a zombie horde. They've broken in. If you're in the cellar, you're fucked. Because you have nowhere to run. If you're on the second floor, I, I can at least throw something out the window and jump. Well, what if the horde's outside, though? Well? So there's hordes in the house and hordes surrounding the house. And there's a year worth of supplies in the cellar. Well, see, see when you put you it... twist it? You see yeah, you well, twist you it? know, well, when you put it that way, yeah, the cellar's better, but... For just the two options they have, I I would rather run upstairs and barricade the second floor. I completely agree with you. <laughs> and so does 70% of the world. All right, so would you rather drive a smart car or drive a Lamborghini and fill up four times a week? I wouldn't be caught dead in a smart car. <laughs> not not dead. <laughs> not even dead. I'm going to go with the Lamborghini. Yeah, so would I. I. I don't like the looks of the smart cars. I, you know, Lamborghinis, I don't think they have big fuel tanks anyway. I don't think. So I don't four, think so. I'm not 100%. Yeah. I don't know. It'd be something to look up. I'm going to go with the Lamborghini. And so would 55% of the people. They would rather go with the Lamborghini. Because, you know, they're chick magnets. Would you rather... <laughs> would you rather your piss smells like McDonald's french fries? <laughs> Just the caliber of this question. Uh, or your poop smells like Burger King Whoppers? I I seriously have to know who the fuck comes up with these questions. Uh, oh so, my god. Well, it was added by Tony. So blame Tony. Um Tony, wherever you're at, what the hell? <laughs> this is a pothead question, uh for sure. Um, let's let's see here. Would I rather have my piss smell like french fries or my poop smell like a whopper? I've already got my answer, but go ahead. I, I think I would rather have my piss smell like a french fry. No, that's the wrong answer. Um, <laughs> the correct answer was your poop smells like Burger King Whopper, and here's why. Um, <clears throat> who's smelling your piss? You know? Uh, am I, like, smelling up the place with, with my piss whenever I go take a piss? Or am I going to smell up my house with the shit. Is my wife gonna bitch at me about the smell of piss or the smell of shit? So, I'm thinking, I'm gonna go with the, the bigger impact here, and I'm gonna go with the Whopper. Let's see what everybody else chose. What the fuck? Sick. Well, because if you think about it, I do not want to get hungry right after taking a shit. Alright, would you rather hoard or Compulsively clean. Mm. Both of these can be a downfall, Skylar. Mm hmm. Both of them. Um, you ever watch Hoarders? Yes. Um, you know, you don't watch uh, Compulsive Cleaners, you watch Hoarders because they're fucking disgusting. Um, you know, if you get, if you let it get to that point. Now, if you're like a tidy hoarder, you know, maybe. Maybe a very well organized hoarder, and you got a lot of expensive shit that you're hoarding. Um, Sounds like rather... my office. <laughs> 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 I think I'd rather clean. I think I'd rather be compulsive, a, a compulsive cleaner. Yeah, so would I. Cause, I, see, with that reference for the show hoarders, you see some of these people's homes where it's four foot of trash, they start cleaning it out, and there's three dead dogs underneath everything. That's just, yeah. Yeah, and I'm not going to get fucking, you know, the law called on me for being too clean. Yeah. Hoarding could be a slippery slope, my friend. Oh, a yes. slippery slope. So I'm going to go with clean, and a lot of people, <laughs> the 18% are actually already hoarders. 
and yep. you're happy with that life. Would you rather pull all of your toenails out or pull all of your hair out? Now this is this is a um, this Ooh. is a catch twenty two because if you pull all your toenails out, it's 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 gonna be very very painful. However, comma dramatic pause. <laughs> um, it's not gonna be as noticeable. But yeah. If you pull your hair out. You know, if you're just doing one strand at a time or a couple strands at a time, it's not going to be as painful, but it's going to be extremely noticeable. Yes. So I'm 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 going to take the uh, the brave man's route, and I'm going to take the toenails. Yeah. And well, and plus, if you go to pull all your hair out, if you do it at once, you have a good chance of ripping your scalp off too. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pull all toenails. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa! Yeah. Y'all, fifty-six percent are just you're fucked up. Mm. Okay. Wow. Well, I mean, you know, some people, some people are not brave enough to pull out their toenails. Um, not that I've pulled out my toenails before, but. <laughs> or have you? Or have I? You wouldn't notice either way. Yeah. So, it's, it's none of your fucking business what I've done with my toenails. <laughs> All right. Would you rather never be able to compliment or never be able to complain? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Uh, Go ahead. Actually, hold hold that thought. I have got to run to the bathroom. There is definitely no fast food smell with that. So, hmm. See, me personally, me personally, I don't like complaining. It, it gets you nowhere. It's just... It's pointless. I love complimenting people because I like making other people feel great about themselves. Uh, it's how, I, how I've always been. You know, if I see somebody there walking by, they have nice shoes. I'm going to turn and go, dude, awesome shoes. And they're going to immediately go, stalker. Exactly. <laughs> I, I get I get that about 90% of the time. It's okay. <laughs> um, you know, I just... Me personally, I would I would rather never be able to complain because I don't like doing it anyway. <laughs> I, I I can go on and on about how complaining is is cancerous and mm -hmm. um, and that it's useless. Uh, I think one important thing to decipher here is that uh, complaining is in this sense I think is meant to be the uh, useless remarks and stuff like that. Um, not, hey, this, there's a problem, and let's solve it. Uh, check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. Um, <laughs> ice Ice Baby. Uh, it's amazing how this game has suddenly turned us into uh, philosophers. <laughs> but uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the uh, complaint as well. Yay! Yeah. Would you rather prevent World War II or win a life-changing amount of money in a lottery? Woo! Oh, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's, that's tricky. Prevent, um, prevent mass genocide of Jews and a big war or win money that you can lose easily. Oh, uh, this is, um... This is definitely one of those questions where you start questioning your own morality. Well, you know, I'm already a communist and apparently a dictator too, so yeah. So the money, the money's where you're going? You're going with the money? <laughs> yeah, I would go with the money. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it, it'd be great to go back, you know, prevent World War II, but who knows that if you prevent World War II... Something else wouldn't happen. Hitler doesn't become the ruler of Earth or something. Oh, you're going with the timeline excuse. Okay. I'm going with the timeline excuse, yes. Well, in that case, I'm going with the money. <laughs> Show me the money! Oh, there. yeah. <laughs> Look at these fucking philanthropists. Ooh. 
Would you rather have an unattractive child <laughs> or have a beautiful child with bright blue skin? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> so just straight out have an ugly ass child or have a child that's ugly by society standards by having blue skin. An unattractive child or a smurf? No, it's that bright blue. You're going to go with bright blue? I'm I'm going to go with the bright blue skin child because, well, that can make you a lot of money. <laughs> and That's true. I'm a money whore. Yeah. Which, but either way, I already have a kid. Even if the kid was unattractive, it's still my kid. Okay. Okay, I mean... I mean and then there's always the uh, ugly duckling scenario where they're ugly children and then they grow up to be, you know, attractive people. Um, yeah. I, I, I think I'm going to go with that, the unattractive child. Yeah, so so attractive. would I, because I, I would rather have the unattractive child than a freak show. Yeah, you're looking at lab tests. You're looking at you know, yeah. the military getting involved and, and yeah. you know, yeah. uh, some some crazy X-Man shit. I'm going to go with yeah. the Yeah, child. unattractive child. Oh, what? shit. Ooh. All right, would you rather live in an abandoned bomb shelter or live in an isolated tower? I already know mine. Go ahead. I would live in the abandoned bomb shelter. Yep. As long yeah. as there's food. <laughs> we got to quit agreeing. <laughs> this isn't making for good point system. <laughs> You've been keeping track of the points, right? But you were keeping track of the points. Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm gonna go with the abandoned bomb shelter as well. Yeah. Oh, idiots! <laughs> oh, dumbasses. <laughs> bomb shelter, anything, you know. Anything. There could be food in there. Yeah. Isolated tower, probably not. Yeah. Jeez. But it's a tower, it's so nice. Would you rather take a suppository of vitamins daily, or... Take a syringe of vitamins daily. Um, huh. Well, I, I I know my answer to this already, and mine mine's because of a logical sense. And, and it, I'm I'm diabetic, so I have to take shots every day anyway. Mm. <laughs> so needles don't bother me. I am very against anything going up the rectum. Okay, um, how big's the suppository? I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't care. Hey, it ain't hey, going no one in the butt. I'm, I, I can entertain some things. Um, <laughs> that, that is not a good sentence to say right after you're talking about a butt. <laughs> I'm just saying. Would you rather take vitamins up your ass? I could, I could entertain some things. <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, wow. I, I don't take syringes every day. Um, wow, this is a tough one. Okay, so you Ooh, ooh, I can still get around that, too. Ooh. It says take a syringe of vitamins every, daily. It said Not nothing needle. about a needle. Ooh. So that could be like the little child syringes that you use to get them to take their little medication, like newborns. Okay, we're going with syringes. We're going with syringes. Wow. Y'all are some freaky people. Freaks. You are. You guys are f shallow freaks now, with your <laughs> not wanting an unattractive child. Now you're taking shit up the ass. Man. Hollywood. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, this will be the last one. <laughs> Would you rather only eat reheated leftovers for the rest of your life, or... Pay to eat out at restaurants for every meal for the rest of your life. This is this is a this is a pretty valid question. Um, mm -hmm. You know, what does my salary look like? I mean, yeah. if we're going off of what I make right now. Then obviously it's not it's not uh, it's not a good idea to pay to eat for every meal. Plus, there's the option. You know, there's the there's the the point that you have to go somewhere rather than, you know, just staying in the house. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm going to go with the leftovers. Yeah, so would I. I 
I've I've grown up in that lower class, you know, life to where it was you had old enchiladas from two days ago or you went hungry. <laughs> you learned to eat the old two day old enchiladas. <laughs> so yeah, I'd go with reheated leftovers. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. You spoiled motherfuckers. Spoiled. Spoiled. <laughs> For shame. <laughs> For shame. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, um, humanity is a toilet. Um, mm -hmm. And um, I don't like any of these people. <laughs> um, wow. Such a nice thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean any of it. Nothing I say. Don't trust anything. <laughs> so, that's been Would You Rather uh, with uh, me and Skylar Ernest. Um, go ahead and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, check out Skylar's channel. Uh, link in the description. And uh, make sure you stick around. Join the Bomb Squad today. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe. Boom! Jaeger Bomb. See you next time.